Hey friends, what's going on? Let's get right to it. We just lost a giant in the music world. Um, it became pu public news to my knowledge yesterday that Edgar Fries or Edgar Freus, I'm not German, so I keep forgetting how you pronounce those OEs. Someone did uh, <laughs> tell me recently in a video comment, uh, but I for I've forgotten already. But Edgar Fries, the guy that started the band Tangerine D Dream, passed away at uh, at 70 years old on January 20th, and in the for for me that's a, that's um, I I am not into that, you know I'm not sad about death because I know that death is a transition. But um, the idea of losing um, someone, passing away of note, we lost a big one. Um, Tangerine Dream um, were pioneering in the uh, world of electronic music and big pioneers as far as um, reaching into more of the mainstream of the world. A lot of people don't know who Edgar Fries is. But a lot of people, when you say Tangerine Dream, ah, you know what I'm saying? And um, now this is interesting yesterday, the way that this all came about for me, because um, it's not that I believe in intuition. I know that we have it, and I know that we're all connected. It's not an illusion. It's not some new agey shit. The idea that we're separate, which is common thinking, is what's erroneous. We're, we're all plasma and connected. So anyway, yesterday, I'm looking for records to play or just kind of looking and Tangerine Dream kept coming up. But what I went to play was this, the Kaleidoscope and their album Tangerine Dream. Okay. So just as I'm putting this on, getting ready to take a picture to show on the Facebook to talk about, I go on Facebook into, um, one of the groups, the Krautrock group, and I see that someone's posted the notice that Edgar Freus, Fries, Edgar, Fries, I'm just going to say Edgar Fries, has passed away, and it really hit me because I'm not maudlin about death. I'm not afraid of death, and I understand, and I've dealt with a lot of death. But some de deaths are more significant as far as the way they impact you, and Edgar's is is big because of the influence. Um, German music, Tangerine Dream, they've been a big influence on me. They really have been. So much so that I can actually, pr I can prove it. Um, my first solo album is called Nice. I put this out in 2001. And it was, uh, it was me going through my home recordings, uh, trying to find the best bits to put on something. And one of the pieces that I put on here is a track called The Melting. I'm gonna, play, I'm gonna play it in the background because it's totally inspired by Tangerine Dream. And I probably came up with this improvisation. It's an improvisation. It's not even a composition. It's an improvisation that, that I liked, that I decided to put on the album. Probably recorded it sometime in the late 80s or 90s. It's completely uh, inspired by Tangerine Dream. <laughs> Tangerine Dream at Edgar Freud Fries has over 100 albums. I just have a few of them, so I'll show what I have that I can remember. The first one, Tangerine Dream's Electronic Meditation. My copy is water damaged, but it's on the original OR label. Um, even on the original label, it was repressed several times, so this is not a first pressing, but I have it on the OR label. I have this one out because I played it yesterday. This is really intense, really beautiful, but dark. Zeit, Tangerine Dream Zeit. When I got the news, um, the first album I pulled to post online was Aqua by Edgar Fries, his first solo album. I think this came out in 1974. Excellent. I have, they have a bunch of records, I only have a few.
sure you get them all. Yeah, Tangerine Dream has a few of them. See what I mean? You guys that know Tangerine Dream, this burbling... That's completely trying to do the Tangerine Dream thing. Okay. These are not in order, I'm just going to show my Tangerine Dream records. Here's a single, Warsaw in the Sun. Hyperborea. This one is nice because it has the, uh, the cover where you... Uh, this one is uh, Vertical Race, Optical Race. But it's nice, it's got the uh, neat cover like that. On the back, too. Tiger. Le Park. This one had a bit of mainstream uh, exposure because it got used as a theme on VH1. Underwater Sunlight. They did a lot of um, soundtracks, wavelength. Here's a live album, Live Miles. Another one, Logos, Tangerine Dream. White Eagle. And these records get played, they do. Soundtrack to Thief. This is one that people are probably familiar with. It's, and Green Dream, Edgar Freeze. Here's another one that got good exposure in America, in particular, Exit. There's that picture again. Exit. William Friedkin's Sorcerer. Tangerine Dream did the soundtrack. There's Edgar. A member of the VC who I haven't heard from for a while, Eric Stegels from England, looks like Edgar Freeze. I wonder where he's at. Here's one of my favorites, Force Majeure. Here's another live album. They made a bunch of live albums. Tangerine Dream Live, Encore. Cyclone. Excellent. Stratosphere, another one that made inroads into the markets in America when it was released. Here we're getting to some of their classic period. Rubicon. And then I think this is the one that busted it open. Phaedra. Phaedra. This is the one I think that really, really uh, put them on the map. Ricochet. Ricochet. Okay. So I have two versions of Rubicon. One is a one is a foldout. I mean a, a yeah gatefold. So this is an example of where I have two copies of Mel. Definitely keeping them both. Atem, Atem, Atem. Or label. Heavy stuff, heavy stuff. Alpha Centauri, Alpha Centauri. Great stuff. And I have a couple of uh, more Edgar Free solo albums. Yeah, so it's important to me to pay homage to Edgar Fries. This, this music, his music is major to me. To me, he is big. His loss musically is like losing a big one. You know, like back when we lost Jimi Hendrix, when we lost, when we lose the big ones. People that are really touched a lot of lives. It's really touched my life deep, deeply. Edgar Fries' music. Stuckman is another one I have. Solo album. Macula Transfer. Love those graphics. And Epsilon in Malaysian Pale. Another fantastic cover. I'm up to 10 minutes and I'm going to stop because I wanted to pay tribute to Edgar Fries. His passing. That music's important to me. I did receive some um, a records from a record company that I said, you know, you send me records, I will, I will review them. That's coming up in my, in my next video. 
Don't forget that I am taking pre-orders on my next album, Myths and Realities, coming up in either March or April. The links will be below. Um, I'll always have the links in the space below the video, folks. So just look in the space below the videos before comments for links.